All right, here we go. It is Monday of week four, which equates to the last week of January, except it's the second week of September. So uh, if this would have been a New Year's resolution, everybody would have quit by now. So I'm kind of proud that I have not. Um, I'm sorry I'm late today. Uh, I didn't want to be here, so there's that. The excuse today was that it is in the United States. We have a holiday called Labor Day, which is uh, basically all the unions got together and said we want a holiday dedicated to us. And uh, one of the good things that they did was they got, a, they got it made. So there's a holiday dedicated to the worker today, Labor Day. And service professionals don't really get the day off, but uh, like office workers and bankers and government workers and teachers all get the day off. So uh, it's been a lazy day. It's been storming all day. I've been sleeping all day because it's been horribly horribly storming and my head's been pounding and I said, eh, eh, eh. I had all them excuses they all come into play but I guarantee you 20 million other people have the exact same problem been lounging around all day don't really feel like getting up and doing anything and storming outside head hurts there's all these excuses I guarantee there's 20 million people out there with the exact same excuse my answer to that is just get it done get up and get over get over it you know, I, it's what I'm going to do. So I've lowered the rings <laughs> down to about waist height. And where you put your feet in this one changes the intensity. If you move back about two feet, you'll see that when you lean back, you're at about the same, the same intensity as when they were shoulder height. If you put your feet right, at the, right underneath them, I'm terrified of this. I am so out of shape and fat and scared my feet slide. I'm terrified of that. So I'm not ready to go there yet. So I'm going to go somewhere in between. If you put your feet forward, it's like laying down on the ground and pulling your, and pulling your body weight up. Like we used to do when I was fit. We used to do that on the army bunks. We used to lay on the beds and pull ourselves up under the, arm, under the bunks. Uh, but I'm not there yet. So what I'm going to do is this week, I'm going to take one step back and I'm going to be, bathroom tiles are really good about this because they're about a foot square. I'm going to take, I take a step back and be one foot back. That's going to put the rings just below my nipples. No, it's not that kind of, it's not that kind of video. That's going to put the rings just below my nipples. And I'm going to start with 20 this week. So I'm going to do 20, I'm going to do three sets of 20 this week. Then we're going to go to 45 degrees on the countertop push-ups. And we'll do 45 degree planks again. We're going to stick with that because it's convenient. And then, uh, and then we'll do the treadmill. And we'll go uh, one minute at three. And then we'll go uh, eight minutes at three and a half and a minute at four. I'm not quite ready to go multiple minutes at four yet. I've got to get my stride stretched out before I get there so that uh, when it comes time to start running, I've got a stride. I've got a good stride. So here we go, about one foot behind the line to decrease the intensity for me and to keep me from falling, or at least stop me from feeling like I'm falling. I'm gonna put a mat there and hopefully that mat will stop me from, stop my feet from sliding. I may have to actually buy a different mat or different shoes. Whoa, it scares me to death. So, one, two, three, four, five, you want to slow down, six, so that you're moving yourself with your muscles, seven, and not inertia, eight, not gravity, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I can totally feel that. I can totally feel that. Oh my goodness. We'll see what happens. I may have to take another step back to get to, to, get to three sets of 20. We'll see what happens. I'll talk about my shirt when we get to the treadmill. I got a nice shirt from 3.DVD. 
His name used to be David, but he had his ID stolen once, so now he's just Dave. Write it down, it'll help. <laughs> All right, so about 45 degree angle, keeping my back straight. Let's do 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. That makes a huge difference. That makes that, that little bit of an angle makes a huge difference. And if you're not there yet, don't do it. Move your feet up, do it at about a 50 to 60 degree angle, or stay at the wall. If you're going to do it at the wall, put your feet up against the, the backboard, put your arms against the front board, and just lean there. Just do something to get you there. But it makes it, where you put your feet makes a huge difference in the intensity of this. So here we go. Two minute plank at 45 degrees. Try to keep your back straight. I can't really tell if my back is straight or not. Another thing that changes the intensity is how far apart your feet are from each other. So if your feet are right next to each other versus your feet being a, a foot apart or two or three feet apart, changes the intensity, makes it less intense if your feet are not close together. The lower this angle, the more intense it is. Today I'm feeling it in my lower chest, my sides, my groin, and my butt. Even though we've been doing this exact same workout for, for planks for what, two weeks now? Three weeks? So we'll probably end up doing this exact thing for this week and next week when I get the push-ups to 30. And then we'll move to the bathtub. Probably be October when we move to the bathtub. Hopefully by then I can hang from those rings and not be, not be terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified of falling because of my age and weight it hurts alright that's two minutes of that stop the clock zero it out Move this out of the way. Do some deep knee bends. Do 10 deep knee bends. And on the 10th uh, one, I'm going to hold it halfway. Hold it in the C position for a count to 10. So it'll look like this. And you don't have to do this. You can sit on a chair. You can lean, but lean your butt back up against the counter like this. Like one. Just start where you can. Start with what you have. So here we go. One, two, I about toppled over. Three, just fall right into the tub. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Shake it out. Get you a drink of water. If you have one, I'm going to stop and get a drink of water. I may need more water. Of course, I've been drinking water all day. By the way, coffee is not water. Don't let anybody trick you into thinking so. Coffee is the magic elixir of life, but not necessarily water. Okay, so moving back to the one foot behind the line. One, two, see that's sliding. That's sliding worse than that. I may have to just take shoes off. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. By Wednesday, I'll have something to stop that sliding and I'll let you know what it is. It may just, may just require me going barefoot, but then I have to put my shoes on for the treadmill. But I can't slide like that, because I will fall, and that terrifies me. Okay, 25 push-ups at 45 degree angle. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, you do not have to keep pace with me. Nine, ten, start where you are. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, not dead yet, maximum effort. Now what Deadpool says, maximum, for those of you old enough to watch Deadpool, maximum effort. All right, then we move to the plank for two minutes. Trying to keep my back straight, 45 degree angle. Keep my chest up off my arms. Just like the push up, you can do this in the door frame. If you're way more advanced, do this on the floor with your feet up on the tub and you're up on one arm. Take pictures. I'm not there yet. That, that may be a goal we set after we accomplish this one. Two minutes is a long time. Considering it's just now been a minute. Let me know in the comments below if my back's not straight. I can't, I have no way of telling. This has been a lazy day and I'm feeling it. Oh my goodness.
This is when it would be real easy just to give up. It's only 10 more seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ooh. Goodness. Everybody wants to do it when it's easy. Everybody wants to do it when it's fun. Nobody wants to do it when it's hard, and that's the difference. That's the difference between us and them. We don't want to do it. There are fit, fitness gurus out there that just love Trigger Stan. Trigger Stan's a redhead kid, little ginger kid. Fit as can be. He's knocking out 10, 20 pull-ups, 30 push-ups. You know, he, just, just fit as he can be. Really great in my, in my chat. Kind of really great encouragement, really great guy, but you know he's one of the fitness guys. He's like, oh, fitness is fun. No, it's not. Not fun at all. One, two, three, four, five, six. You'll come to love it. Seven, eight. My ass. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm going to stop halfway down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty. Were we doing twenty or twenty-five? I'm betting twenty. Okay. I didn't do deep knee bends, did I? I did not. I went straight from planks to pull-ups. Okay. Whew. Cheating yourself. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, ten. All right. Maybe I did it twice. I don't know. Maybe it's cheating me. <coughs> All right. Twenty-five of these is a lot. One, two, three. Maybe you can just do ten, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you did ten, eleven, twelve. You laughed everybody who didn't. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 25, all right. Ooh, that burns. Okay. We're almost ready for the treadmill. <coughs> Here we 
we go. And two minutes. No, you have to straighten your back. Sticking your butt up in the air doesn't count. Two minutes. It's a long dang two minutes. Yeah, if you only did ten, hell, if you only did five, you lapped everybody who didn't get up off the couch. You lapped everybody eating popcorn, watching for us to fall. I watched a video. There was a 700-pound man lost uh, 500 pounds. And when he started, somebody said, just flail around. Sit on the couch and just flap your arms and flail around for 10 minutes. And he did it. And he said it was the most exhausting thing he'd ever done. But he did something. And that's impressive. You got to do something. got to find a reason to do it and hold on to that reason. I am tired of not being able to put my shoes on and tie my knots on top of my shoes. I'm tired of my clothes not fitting. I'm tired of not being able to buy clothes at the store. I have to go to the short fat store instead of just the regular store. I'm tired of that. got to find a reason that's important to you. Hold on to it. I'm out of clothes. I have favorite clothes that I can't wear. I want to wear them. Alright, two minutes. Alright, that's that. So, now we'll do our final set of deep knee bends and then go to the treadmill. They're like curtains. <laughs> Alright, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Whew. That's rough. That's really very rough. Okay. A little drink of water there. My last sip of water. I'm going to have to make sure my water bottle is full before I start. I still have not changed the artwork out on the walls. Probably shouldn't either. That one's for Halloween. My wife painted those. My wife painted that one. Yeah. I don't know that I'll change the artwork on the wall as much as I'll add other artwork. All right. So, put the phone up there. Put our safety device on so that if we fall, we don't look like one of those machines that rolls out biscuits or tortillas at the Mexican food place. I want Mexican food. Mexican food sounds really good. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to move the incline back down to zero. Okay, so we've got the incline to zero. We're going to go one minute at three miles an hour, eight minutes at three and a half, and one minute at four. 
So here we go. <clears throat> I know three minutes a mile just always seems so fast. Maybe I should do a two minute warm up mile or a, a two mile an hour, one minute, two mile an hour warm up mile before I start. But three miles an hour just almost trip, almost always trips me up when I step onto it. But this mile, really just to get you stretched out for the next eight minute part. You see my new shirt? Three Dot Diva Dave sent me a shirt. I mentioned last week sometime that I needed a t-shirt that says Blades Fitness Sucks. And the next thing I know, Three Dot Diva Dave's conspiring with my wife to send me one. Blades Fitness Sucks. And it's really funny because the coloring of the lettering is Titan Buff. And that's my superhero name. Okay, three and a half. That's my superhero name is Titan Buff. <laughs> but I, I conspired with his wife to send him a gift one time. So now we're like mail order wife swapping. It's funny when you think about it like that. Funny to me. I have a weird sense of humor. But it was nice of him to send me this shirt. Whew. We have people. I should write these things down. I'm having a terrible time remembering right now. We have people from Germany cheering us on. We have people from Paris cheering us on. So be sure and put in the comments your, your successes, your excuses, and everything. Because there's people all over the world paying attention offering advice, offering encouragement, looking to be, they're in the same situation we are and they're trying to get better. One guy, one person, I don't know their sex, one person wrote that they're fit, but they have other things that they wanted to get better at and they, they realized that they could do that incrementally the same way we're getting fit incrementally they're going to learn to play guitar. So he's picked up his guitar and he's been practicing guitar because of us. That's amazing. That's amazing. Outstanding. It's not really what this show's about, but be inspired. By God, that's fabulous. Whew. I was very happy to read that note. Weighed in yesterday morning, and I think it was, was it 290.8? It worked out to 14.6 pounds for the, since we started the, the recordings. It's actually about 20 pounds since I started, but it's 14.6 pounds since I started the recordings. I weighed in this morning and it was 288.6, which I know just means I was dehydrated, <laughs> but it still felt good to look at the scale this morning. It's not the official weigh in. It still felt good to look at the scale this morning and, and be below 290. But that's not really the goal. I'd love to be back down around 175. But that's not really the goal. The goal is to fit back into my clothes, to not get winded putting my shoes on, be able to tie my own roller skates, clip my own toenails, be attractive to the lady. It's just one, singular. <laughs> I only have one that I care about impressing. And then, I still want to be able to do 30 sit-ups, 20 push-ups, 10 deep knee bends, five pull-ups, and, and run a mile in 10 minutes. And then we'll change all those goals when we hit them. Maybe. It may just be where I get and I stay there for the rest of my life and I just wake up every morning and do that one thing every morning. 
or maybe we pick a new goal, like I want to be able to bench press 300 pounds. Who knows? We'll see where we get when we get there. But I don't want to turn this into that. I want to focus on the one goal, which is to do the 30 sit-ups, 20 push-ups, 10 deep knee bends, five pull-ups, and a 10-minute mile. Ooh. It's only been five and a half minutes. We still have four and a half minutes to go. I guess I should have a script or something to talk about. My wife's downstairs watching the Labor Day. It's Labor Day weekend here. And Paramount, I think it's Paramount Channel, is having a Yellowstone Marathon. And she loves that show, so she's been watching it for like three, four days straight now. <laughs> I think she started a day early watching Netflix. <laughs> I like that show. I just don't want to get drawn into television. It's so easy for me to get sucked into sitting there and you're just going to watch this one thing and six hours later three bags of chips and a 12-pack and you're scratching your belly going, I wonder what I should have for dinner. <laughs> wonder why your skin itches because it's stretching. <laughs> Whew. Coming up on seven minutes. We got to do two more minutes at this speed, and then we're going to go up to four. And we'll finish out at four miles an hour. And then next week, we'll, we'll only do seven minutes at three and a half, and we'll do two miles at two minutes at four, and a, at four miles. And we'll keep going until we get up to five minutes at four miles. Eventually, we have to get to six miles an hour if we're going to run a 10-minute mile. The problem for me, though, is four miles an hour is not, not really fast enough to jog with. It's just a little too fast to walk. So i got to keep stretching out my stride. i got to keep working on my endurance, losing weight. That's an eight minute mark, one more minute at this speed. But the, uh, I was thinking last night when I went for my constitutional walk that I might get a weight vest and every time I lose 20 pounds, add 10 pounds to the weight vest so it'll keep the intensity of the workouts up because Walking for 10 minutes at 300 pounds burns way more calories than walking for 10 minutes at 250. And so you start to plateau on your weight loss and you can't increase your intensity any faster because your, your muscles aren't there, your endurance isn't there, but your weight loss is dropping. And so in an effort to keep the intensity up, I may I may get a weight vest. All right, here we go, four miles an hour. It's easier since I put the incline back down to zero. When the incline, the incline was up to two Friday, and I didn't remember that I had done that. Who about that? But we may do that every Friday. That's not a bad idea. We'll increase the incline to two every Friday and finish strong. And then that way, when we come back on Monday, we can back off a little bit and build back up to Friday again. I like that idea. All right. Look at me watching the clock. 10 minutes. Slowing down to two miles an hour. 
walk for a minute so that I don't just come to a complete stop, give my muscles a chance to cool back down, catch my breath. But guys, we're making progress. We're still at it. I like this accountability factor. I have people catching up to me on YouTube on different channels. I was watching an Ali Abdul video and I made a comment and somebody who had seen me comment on hybrid calisthenics saw my comment on Ali Abdul and recognized me and commented and that's amazing on a completely different channel following a different completely thread that person commented and said hey I remember you from hybrid calisthenics hope you're doing okay how's your progress going just ready to encourage me in a completely different area so that's fabulous but here we are and thank you once again for joining me and I will see you about this time Wednesday Mwah. Peace out.